I know it's been a really long time and I know um, that I want to do a tour of the new homestead. But tonight we're going to be making cowboy casserole, so I wanted to take you along with me because I know I haven't done a video in a really long time. So, what you're going to need is some sour cream, some whole milk, cheddar cheese, a pound of hamburger, cream of chicken soup, and frozen tater tots. Um, and I'll write the recipe below with all the exact measurements and stuff. I usually don't measure, but I will try to do that for you. So let's get started. So first we're just going to brown up the pound of hamburger and then we are going to drain out the excess fat. I also forgot to say that you can also add a can of corn or frozen corn. Um, my family doesn't really like the corn in there, so we're eliminating it, but please feel free to do that. So in goes a can of cream of chicken of chicken soup. I tried it with cream of mushroom one time and it did not taste good at all. So I don't recommend that. Cream of chicken. Even though I think it sounds weird with the hamburger, but cream of chicken. That was my oven. I have preheating to 375, so that's now ready to go. So add the cream of chicken. And then you're going to add a half a cup of not actually a half a cup. I, it says a half a cup, but I usually put in a cup of shredded cheese. And I shred my own cheese and I kind of just eyeballing it here. So just putting that right in there. And then they want two thirds cup of whole milk. So I'm kind of doubling the recipe. So I'm going to put in three quarters of a cup. And you want this on like medium to medium low heat once the hamburger's cooked. So my stove, I have it on like four or five. And then to that, you're gonna add some sour cream. It says to add two tablespoons, but again, I'm just gonna eyeball. You don't want to add too much because if you put too much sour cream in it, it tastes really funky. And then you want onion powder. Now, again, I don't measure. I kind of just sprinkle some on there. So, you know, just a little sprinkle. And then salt and pepper to taste. and some pepper and then you want to cook that down until the cheese melts I forgot to say you want to mix all this too so it kind of looks gross but believe me it tastes really good up. just trying to stir it all together till it's combined and then over here in my casserole dish 9 by 13 I have a layer of frozen tater tots I did spray the pan down with non-cooking spray before I put the this is what it should looks like look like when it's all done cooking and then we're going to take this and pour it over these tater tots. So this is what it looks like and you kind of want to spread it out evenly over the tater tots make sure you can't see any of the tater tots so there we go and now we're going to put another layer of tater tots and what I usually do is sprinkle some more cheese on top before I put the tater tots. Side note, I shred my own cheese um, because I've heard that the shredded stuff has like pulp, of, like wood pulp in it, like wood dust, sawdust. So I shred my own cheese and I usually buy white cheddar just because I think it's more natural. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I do. Um, but here in Missouri, I found that it's really hard to find white cheddar. So I did get some orange and I'm just going to shred it up with my KitchenAid mixer, which I love, by the way. I have to shred out your attachment. And then you just put my cheese right into my bag. Um, those of you, I don't know if I even said this on social media at all yet. But my mixer got rocks, like it fell in the truck in the movie and it's bent now and so now my arm doesn't go up and down. So my husband says he's gonna try to fix it, but for right now, my mixer's not working. So I haven't made bread or anything because I don't want to need it by hand, but we might have to come up with some other plan. So now we're just 
just gonna sh spread some cheddar cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese on top here. Um, you don't have to put a ton. We this is actually an extra step. You don't need to do this if you don't really like a lot of cheese. I mean, I don't know who doesn't, but yeah, and put some cheddar cheese. And now we're gonna cover it with tater tots. So that was almost a full bag that I used for just the bottom and the top. Um, the top is not quite covered, so I'm going to need to get another bag. Um, and this is a 32 ounce, two pound bag, but some of them were already gone. You could probably get away with Excessive one. Excessive compulsive when it comes to putting the tater tots on my, on my cowboy casserole. I don't like any spots missing. So I sit here and I put them in individually on here until I think it looks good. Um, probably use a couple more. Uh, one right there and one right there. So I think that looks, oh wait, over here looks looking a little weak. So we're gonna put that in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes.